Actually, tell your story. Oh, okay. Tell your story while right. getting everything ready. So, I tore my Achilles a long time ago, and I never, I never fully recovered, and have just been putting this off. Uh, so I've been forever. Yeah, forever. <laughs> like 2009 yeah, ish. Um, so I needed to, I knew that it wasn't going to get any better on its own. I tried all my own stuff. So I started. What'd you try? To, I tried primarily just like strength exercises and some stretching, some like eccentric, like going slow on the way down. Eccentric loads for Yeah. Time. But, um, never really got the full like mind muscle connection or any f kind of feeling until recently working with Dr. Story uh, we've been doing active release grass and, and, and laser. laser yeah and adjustments to the uh, subtalar joint yeah which is which is where the tendon attaches to the, the bone right called the calcaneus and if there's no movement there it produces more strain on the tendon so by get by getting that joint to move good the the tendon should have less strain on it right that's how it works and this is only my i want to say my fourth visit you've done four four so today's number five today's number five so today's my fifth visit um it's been and i've been progressing more just these fat past five sessions than the past nine years <laughs> so pretty cool huh? yeah yeah <laughs> and Woo! that's just from one visit that's so, from a couple one of visits, visit so. yeah one visit a week or every other week so so we're going to show you how we're do what we're doing yeah okay so lie down on your stomach and get a comparison so the one thing vicky if you want to can you see his ankles mm -hmm. okay so the one thing i noticed was when you squeeze his achilles tendon there's certain areas, and it's going to be difficult to see on video, but this one was a, was considered normal. So if you look here and I squeeze it, right there, there's about, I'm going to say a quarter inch. If I go to the same level right here and I squeeze it, that's like three-fourths of an inch. So there's a big difference there. And what that is, is the actual torn tendon develops scar tissue and actually looks visually biz bigger. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some oil on here so it won't hurt too bad. And then I'm just gonna take my, my knee and just give a little tension to the tendon itself. And then we're gonna put this at about 45 degrees and dig into it. Now tell them how much fun you're having at this point. Yeah, this is the funnest part. This is the best part. <laughs> the part where you have the most amount of fun. I'm just gonna go around the tendon. Almost done. So it doesn't take that long. And then the hard part is getting on the front side of the tendon. So if I lift this up, you can actually get in there. So I'm gonna take my thumb, push this way, get in here and get to kind of the front side of the tendon. Yeah, you can feel it's like knotted. Yeah. It feels like that. Please. And you can see it starts to get real red, which is a good sign yeah. for me. This side is, on this front side, is not as bad. Okay, so let it relax there. So now I'm going to take my thumb and I'm gonna go onto the front side and then flex it. So it's just a pin and stretch, just like this. Just turn in there. That was the easy part. That was the easy part, yeah. I know, right? So now I'm just using the laser on it. All right, lie down on your back now. So 
now, so the subtalar joint is underneath here. It's not right here, it's underneath here. And it allows this bone that I'm grabbing right now to go side to side. And you hear that cracking. Yeah. And then it tractions right here. So it should give a little. And then it should go from back to front, which I'm gonna test. So I'm gonna stabilize here. See, it's very, it's very stiff in you from here. So what I'm gonna do is when I do the adjustment, I'm gonna pull it down and up, okay? okay? So it's just a quick motion. Here we go. There we go. Good. Okay. You're a new man. All right. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Very quick, but... It's a very quick treatment, but the thing is, if we... Well, it's a quick treatment because we know what we're doing. Right. But the first time you came in, you were here for like 45 minutes. Yeah. Me trying to figure out what to do. And once we know what the game plan is, then we go ahead and just implement it. Yeah. And it's... You know? Because it's been almost like... Like, I don't feel the muscle too much. Yeah. Or I haven't been feeling it the past, what is it, 2008, so, or 2009, so seven-ish years. Yeah. Um, I could notice every little, like, contraction, or even, like, if I almost cramp, like, a muscle cramp, like, yeah. that's good, because I've, <laughs> is it in a sense, working? yeah, because I've never had that. Cramping is, is considered what's called neurological confusion. Yeah. And, um... What's happening is the nerve is telling the muscle to do something, but there's a lack of response. Okay. So when people get like, uh, in the old days, they used to think it was just salt. Like you'd go out and ride a long way or right. run a long way and you would cramp. Right. They used Makes to sense. think it was electrolytes. Uh -huh. Well, they'd give people electrolytes and 20% of people would improve, but 80% wouldn't. Now they're thinking maybe it's pickle juice. Right. Stuff like that. So but the most of the research on it shows that actually neurologically, the chemicals neurologically, can't tell that muscle to fire as much anymore. Right. So you get this cramping. So cr cramping sometimes they think now, and it could change 10 years from now, yeah. is that the neurology, the nerve that goes into that muscle, the muscle should receive the information correctly, okay. but there's some mismatch, and that's why the muscle cramps. So okay. if you weren't able to feel it before, and now you're feeling cramping, yeah. that means the nerve is trying to tell the muscle to do something, and it's just not happening yet. Right, right, yet. yeah, yeah. So. But I, I haven't had that before, like ever, to the point where yeah. I can like contract the muscle, yeah, and it almost cramp, or and not it, a full cramp. And as an athletic person, you want to be able to contract the darn muscle. Yeah, yeah. So. So. All right, we're Thank all set you. for today. No problem. See you next time.